Good evening and welcome to Rockford, Ohio, where it is time for wrestling and respect. Rumble and Rockford 3 and getting it kicked off here with a huge tag team match. Alongside River Blackheart, I'm Michael McCormick. And it's that eerie music already reverberating through Parkway High School. And an even eerier individual. I was going to say because that belongs to probably the eeriest guy on the roster, Zach Spade. Interesting to note, his uh, mentor, so to speak, and Caleb Stills, not here. So he's gotten him a guy who's, well, he's not right either in Austin Mannix. Yeah, I'm, Caleb Stills found a guy more than suitable enough to uh, team up tonight with his protege, Zach Spades, and the one-man militia, Austin Mannix. The question is... It's not so much about their opponents who themselves are unorthodox and the painkillers, but uh, how does Austin Mannix keep Zach Spades in check? Well, he's a tough individual, you know. Uh, I don't think he has to. I think if you're Austin Mannix, you don't want Zach Spades in check, especially if you're taking on the painkillers. Well, I guess we'll see the painkillers no stranger to Mr. Mannix as they have fought up and down I-75. They'll get another chance to try and take down the former War Wrestling Tag Team Champions. I've been real impressed with this Austin Mannix kid. I think he's going to go far here. You're saying you'd be willing to represent him? Oh, yeah, definitely. Zach, I'm a little, little leery of. How about these guys? Be careful what you say. Donnie's running up and down the stairs. Yeah. Donnie, a very uh, nuts. He's nuts. He's crazy. He's free, a moron. Free spirited individual. I know we, we just saw a couple of minutes ago doing the 10 belt salute to the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, growing up, one of my all time favorites, but. Huge fan! These guys, for sure, big Ultimate Warrior fans growing up. I think you can kind of see that at times in their uh, warrior like, unorthodox offense. Or their promos. Either one. You can definitely tell who the fans are going to be behind here, though, in Rockford. Also, apparently, fans of that other guy, brother. Brother. So the painkillers who have made their mark in the tag team division here in war over the last couple of years. I guess I'll start off with Jacob. You see there the bigger of the two painkillers. Yeah, being a uh, manager of former... War Tag Team James, I'm very familiar with these two idiots. Go down there and call them that. I've called them that before. I've called it to the face. I ain't scared. I ain't like Coach Browning who talks behind Jock Samson's back and then wonders why he The only reason he that. talked, quote, behind his back, end quote, is that Because he thought he, he wasn't didn't here. Know he was here. Exactly. And he attacked him from behind. Exactly. That's why he opened his mouth because he thought Jock wasn't here. Well, he's going to get his just... Uh, rewards or I guess maybe punishment later on is he will be face to face with coach Kevin Browning in an arm wrestling match at all things this is an absolutely great card we have the baddest man alive Aaron Williams coming up in a little bit his first time we've seen him since he helped your buddy Jack Sampson win the title the painkillers starting out on top Zach Spades is confused. I don't think he's ever seen anybody sort of on his level mentally. Now, like you said, Austin Mannix, no stranger to these guys. You go ahead, you can tag him in. He's not scared. In there with the powerhouse of the painkillers. Took him down right in the middle of the ring, and Mannix looking for a partner. He was looking the wrong way. Well, you get slammed around and see if you know which way's up. I don't think he's going to know which way is anyway, but the couple of amateur slams there. Now, here comes Donnie, the, well, let's say less mentally unstable of the painkillers. He's 
He's the more, I think. I think Jacob is pretty much the one that tries to keep Donnie in check more than vice versa. Uh, uh, I misunderstood. I thought you said the, most, the more stable. He's Unstable. Oh, yeah. Definitely for sure. Manic's able to fight off in the corner of the painkillers, though. You never know where Donnie's going. Manix is definitely in the wrong place. Nick, look at this. A roll through into the spear. And you know they, what comes next. They use each other as weapons. Manix. Oh. A running kick to the face sends him down the middle of the ring. Jacob for the cover. One, two. Manix a big boy. 6'1", about 240. Solid, solid, too. It'll take a lot to take him down now. Back in control. Blind tag to Zach Spades. Cortez didn't see it. Doesn't seem like it's going to matter. Thus far here in the opening minutes of our first contest, Mannix and Spades, an effective tag team. Yeah, well, that's, to my knowledge, the first time they teamed together. Well, they were effective. Now they roll through, and there goes Donnie up and over from the outside in. That guy is nuttier than extra crunchy peanut butter, I'm telling you. Spades almost looked like he was going to turn it around, get the advantage, but Zani with a neck breaker again, only a two count. I'm curious for to the see who's going to out crazy. That's a good Zach question. Zach Spades or Donnie Hollows? Also coming up later on, uh, Ripper might be bald at the end of this night. Never happened, never happened. As Chris Hall will take on the heartbreaker, Jeff Holloway. $1,000 against that mess you call there, hair. There hasn't been a better hairstyle like this since Steven Seagal. Running high knee and saw Spade or Mannix take this offense. Now Spade's taking the double team. Jacob with a cover, hooked the outside leg. Got, again, only a two count. That's what I love about the painkillers, and I think that's what the fans here in Rockford love as well. Very innovative offense. Innovative, you mean just making stuff up as they go? I'm pretty sure when they have That's a guy what in the air, means. they have no idea what they're doing with him. Well, that'll buy him some time. Spades to the outside. Mannix with it. Looked like a palm strike to the throat. Oh, there's the ring post. Not even the legal man. Now Spades picks himself up off the floor. So again, two guys do who to our knowledge have never tagged before, looking like a well-oiled machine, especially when Cortez turns his back. And I'm sure that's all because of Caleb Stills. He's not here to ask, so I guess I'll take your word for it. Now into the middle of the ring in spades. Even a simple elbow drop, he makes it look crazy. Only a one count as Jacob powers out. A lot of quick tag in and outs, too, by this first-time team. That's something you see a veteran team do. A lot of great tag team action on this card as later on the war tag team champions approaching, well, the longest reign in war history. Already wow. over 240 days. They did lose it at the county fair. It's been 240 days since the county fair. But the... Uh, see how long that ring continues. A couple of other guys had it for a while until you messed that up. That messed nothing up. Patty McCaddy did. You guys know him as Tank. Notably, Tank not here tonight. As, uh, uh, yeah, because I had the all-you-can-eat buffet. Otherwise, you would be laying on the ground swallowing your teeth right now. Oh, well, look at that. Frequent tag team move or double team moves Zach again. Zach Spades taunting Donnie Hollows. Not the smartest thing to do there is Jacob goes and is superplexed by both members of Mannix and Spades. I don't even know what you would call this, the Manic Militia? Uh, I call it a well-oiled machine like you said. Painkillers and a crowd firmly behind Jacob. If he could get a tag to Donnie, Mannix will be in a world of trouble, but uh, Mannix with a, just caught him with enough of the leg on the lariat. Goes for the cover to knock him down, but again, Jacob's been in there for quite a while and has taken a lot, and I mean a lot of double team punishment. Mannix now 
Cortez needs to get a hold of him. Zach Spades, not a big fan of the kids in attendance in the front row. Yeah, a lot of snot-nosed, disease-ridden kids. That is just terrible. Austin Mannix, if uh, you were fortunate enough to be able to catch the podcast that Ripper and I have done, the Tales from Andy's had a an interesting story to tell. You can find that online if you can get through most of it. Yeah. Or busting the man is. Yes, as the Iron Sheik referred to him. Jacob now in trouble. Smart move by Stills, at least for the moment, the blind tag, but Mannix paid for it. I told you if Donnie got in there, they'd be in trouble. Rights for everybody. Look at that one he threw to Mannix. Donnie with a knee to the face. And down goes Spades. Look at Mannix. I think he was looking maybe. Oh, I guess oh at this come point, on. Doesn't matter what he was looking for because he's looking at the stars right now. Double team move. Painkillers. Flapjack in the middle of the ring. Where's Donnie going to go? That puddle you see used to be Zach Spades. Big boot by uh, Jacob. Going for the cover, trying to get Mannix out of there. One, two. It's not a move the painkillers put people out with. They might be going for it here. They call it the anger bang. Here's, there's the first half of it. Spades nowhere to go. Mannix down yeah, on the ground. Spades ain't going down without a fight. A dunny. Pretty much just cost his own brother. He did cost him now. In the middle of the ring, Mannix, one, two. Tried to steal the win. Would you make, would you consider this a major upset? I think you'd have to. The newly formed team of Austin Mannix and Zach Spade beat a team like the Painkillers who's been together for years. I think you'd have to, but there's the tag team awareness. Mick miscues all over this match. Jacob Spades up again, the anger bang. Right in the middle of the ring, Boston Mannix with nowhere to go. One, two, forget about it. Winners of the first match. The former tag team champions and the painkillers. Can't wait to see if they get themselves back into the mix for a title shot. It'd be interesting to see uh, them and the Scarbonis go at it one more time. Right, Mannix again. We saw this when he lost to Juice Jennings. He's tried to lay the man out after the match. These guys don't care about winning. All they care about is inflicting punishment. Mannix maybe. Well, he said he's the smartest man in the ring. Problem is, there's your first team, first time team. He just left Spades for dead. Hey, survival of the fittest. Well, right now that would be the painkillers. As they reign supreme by winning the first match here at Rumble in Rockford 3. I don't think that'll be the last time we see no, the painkillers. No, I think we just saw the beginning of something right here. 